And how do we know that we are going in the right direction? I'll give you one guideline. We'll finish with this. Romans 14, 17. The kingdom of God is not eating and drinking. In fact, it's not anything earthly. It's not marrying and giving in marriage, planting and building, all these things that Jesus said people will do in the last days, eat and drink and marry and give in marriage and plant and build and all that. No, the kingdom of God is not all that. We do all that because we live on this earth. But the kingdom of God is righteousness. And let me explain righteousness. Righteousness is a big word. But in very simple terms, it means to love God with all your heart and to love others as you love yourself. That is righteousness. Sometimes we think righteousness is paying the taxes and standing up for what is right. That's all there. But primarily, in very simple terms, to love Jesus more than anything on earth, that's righteousness. And to love others, to treat them exactly like you want to be treated. Treat the brothers and sisters here the way you want to be treated. Do you want people to gossip about you behind your back? No? Then don't gossip about them. Treat the servant in your home, the servant, that one lower in society, the way you like to be treated by your boss in your place of work. How do you want your boss to treat you? Treat your poor servant at home the same way. Do you like your boss to give you a bonus once in a while? At least once a year? Ever thought of not being so legalistic with your servant and doing something good, unexpected? Because you're a Christian. Because you follow Jesus. I want to tell you, God's been very good to me. God will treat you like you treat other people. You treat other people well, God will treat you well. You treat other people's children well, God will bless your children. It's like that, it's a law. We reap what we sow. So, the kingdom of God is righteousness. I want to live loving Jesus with all my heart. I want to treat everybody in the world exactly like I want to be treated myself. I don't want to be legalistic and strict. I want to be strict for hygiene. <laughs> you know, we don't want rats and cockroaches running around our house. We want to be clean. Same way spiritually, I want to be clean, but not legalistic. I want to be good. It's easy to fellowship with a good man. It's very difficult to fellowship with a legalistic man who goes exactly according to the rules. We follow the rules, but with goodness. And how do I know that I'm going the right way, that I'm not fooling myself? It says here, by peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. That's our, that's our assurance. You know, I can say I love Jesus with all my heart. Really? You can say I treat everybody like I want to be treated. But if it is true, if it is true, you will always have joy in your heart. And you'll always have peace in your heart. You'll not be tense and anxious and worried and complaining. <laughs> then you're not following righteousness. The righteousness from the Holy Spirit always brings peace and joy. In the Old Testament, they had just righteousness. The word righteousness comes many times in the Old Testament. But it was never coupled with peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. This is the wonderful thing about new covenant righteousness. The kingdom of God, that which John the Baptist prepared the way for Jesus to bring, which we experience today, is loving Jesus with all our heart, treating others the way I want to be treated myself. And the proof of it is, I have 24 hours peace in my heart. No conscience bothering me about this, that or the other when I go to bed at night. Always joy, like a spring bubbling up, not just when I sing songs about joy, but all the time. You say that's impossible in this earth, okay? According to your faith, be it unto you. It will be impossible for you. But I but don't believe it will be impossible for me because I believe God's word says.